Yeah, my rants this morning are kind of on this uh, Christian thing. Uh, I've tried a couple of times to read the Bible. I've started it. I've got so bored to tears that I couldn't get through it. I asked my father about it, and he said, meh, disjointed, uh, uh, judgmental. Yeah, I enjoyed the story where the two girls got their dad drunk and uh, had intercourse with him. That was a little pornographic for me. Uh, but uh, I had a patient uh, years ago, and she came in. She was uh, on target to be an Olympic athlete, um, throwing things, and uh, injured her shoulder. And I tried my best, and finally... Uh, she decided not to pursue her Olympic interests. And uh, it, it kind of centered around the bend. Uh, she went a little crazy. A lot of people really were looking forward to her. And I don't know, I have no idea for their motivations. But, but uh, at any rate, uh, she started hearing voices. And uh, she came in one day and said that she had met a group of people and they told her that the voices that she was hearing was Jesus. And she was uh, truly a channeler of Jesus. And that made me a little jumpy at first, you know, I don't care, I think everybody has voices in their head, I think they have a whole cast of characters in their head, most of them don't say good things, and uh, we had been, I had been her physician, I donated time to the local universities, uh, especially to, well, no, just to the athletes, to the students, uh, but the athletes were the ones who seemed to come in, it was interesting to see what a commodity they were, if uh, the athletes were caught coming to me, particularly the football players, they could be dismissed from the team because it was shown as a sign of weakness as opposed to a sign of intelligence and prevention. But this gal came in one day and she bought what apparently I found out later was a very expensive Bible for me. And uh, she came in, she had highlighted some areas in one of the chapters, and uh, she said, what you're doing is the work of the devil. What you're doing is, you know, against God. I don't know, I don't, healing people, I've read that in the Bible, that... No, this, this kinesiology, now she created a lot of benefit from it, even though we couldn't get her shoulder together so she could compete. She created a lot of value. And so she's saying to me that now what I'm doing is, you know, against the word of her God, her new God, okay, the one that's speaking in her head, okay, so I've got a lot of faith in this one. Um, but uh, she says, if you continue in this practice, a plague will be wrought upon your family. And I looked at her and I said, ten times back to you. She said, what? I said, ten times back to you. If because I'm doing what I believe in and I'm assisting people living their lives and I'm helping them uh, get better, if a plague is wrought upon my family because of the words you've spoken today, carrying that big expensive book that has highlights in it, then I'm going to put it back on you ten times. I'm not going to put up with your little Christian spells. I'm not going to put up with you threatening me through this religion. Um, so ten times back to you, and she said, that's not what I meant. I said, that's what you did. You threatened me. You told me that I was going to be plagued because I do something that I believe in. I understand that when I say the word kinesiology, a significant portion of the people click off. The intention of these videos is to see who will click off. Because I'm trying to see who wants to listen, who wants to have fun, who wants to live a magnificent life www.micpeakperformance.com. My book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. Have a fun day. Thanks for listening.